Hit this red subscribe button and click on the bell sign beside it so you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll show you how I make my bracelet with bloom band. I'm going to be using my crochet pin, my loom and my loom kit which have the bands inside. Now let's get started. I'll make triple single in today's video. Yes, there are some styles like fish tail, single chain, you can make with your fingers. But the most unique style, you will need these tools I mentioned earlier. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to make a phone case. I think I'm blabbing too much. Now let's get into today's video. Okay, so which color should I start with? Let's start with purple. So I'm going to pick the purple rubber and put it on this first pin to the next pin. From this pin to this 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 pin. So you're just going to repeat the same process I just showed you guys till the end of the of this row. You're just going to repeat the same process till the end of this row. Okay, now we are done. I'm going to still be using purple for this part. We're going to repeat it for the, all the rows. So let's continue. Okay, now I'm done with this part. This is how it's going to be looking. This is how the whole thing is looking now. Let me bring it closer. This is how it's looking. So beautiful. Okay. Now let's do the third row. Still using the color purple. I'll be faster a little bit since you guys already know how I do it. Okay guys, this is how it's looking so beautiful. I'm going to push down all my rubbers so they don't get me complicated, frustrated, and it will not be cumbersome for me. I'm done now I'm done pushing down I'm going to be using the pink I love the pink colors because they're so bright and you know they're my best colors now I'll be using it for this part this part I'm going to skip this first three this first three um, peg of the loom and start with this one so I'm going to take a rubber and hook it like this, this one to this one. It's so simple. Continue from like this, like this, like this. So you guys that do it for the last time, this, like this. Okay, now that you know how I do it, I'm going to continue. Like I said earlier, if I'm too fast, you can just pause it, finish, and continue. And the last one. I'm gonna do the last one. Okay, remember, don't do the first 
three pins and you have to do the last one. So don't forget to push down. Okay. I'm done pushing down and this is how lovely it's looking now. Okay. Now. Now let's start the main part of this band. We're going to go to the down part where this is not this part that there's no wrong about this part here. And and bring it so close so you guys can see. We're working with this one now. The loom on the the peg of the loom on the left. So I want you guys to really understand this video. You push this, you come in here, push this pink band out and take the purple on there and put it out. And put it out you hook it on the next peg of the loom. Now you push that pin and you're just going to see one rubber in there. Then you take that and to the next one. This is going to be simple. I'm just going to do it three more times then I continue. So I'm going to take that one. I just switch. I'll just push this one up. Take that one under there and remove it and hook it to the next one. Down there. I know you guys can see that rubber there. The purple. I'm just gonna take it and there. For the last time, push. Take that rubber and see. So I'm going to do this. To I get here. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, now I'm done with everything. It's looking as lovely as this now. Like um, drops of tears upside down. It looks like drops of tears. But let me put it normal so I don't get you guys confused. Yeah, it's so lovely. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to this one here this one over here not the middle please don't do the middle with the last one and yeah there I'm done so it's gonna be looking so beautiful like this all the same design and here you're gonna have a semi cycle shape if you don't have that you might have made a mistake or maybe it's like this you're just gonna take it and put it back well, this one here is this way. Take it, put it back. So it's gonna be as big as this, and it's surely gonna be in a semicircle shape. That will tell you that you're doing a good job. Okay.
Okay. Now we are gonna close this thing up. I'm gonna come here, the left part of the room. Say, so put my crochet through all the rubbers. Take it out. I hook it in the middle. There. Do the same to the one on the right. Just take it and hook it in the middle. So you're gonna have something like this. Nothing will be here. Needle, needle, or anything here. Okay. I'm going to continue with purple or pink. Yeah, let's continue. So I'm gonna put my crochet through all these rubbers here. So it looks like this. Then I'm gonna take my my pink rubber and gently pull through all those rubbers. I would advise you not to use the same rubber as this. You can see I'm using pink so I don't get, get confused. So even if I take another rubber, I will easily notice as quick as possible. If I use purple now, I might take this purple or any of these and get myself confused. So as a beginner, I suppose you should use a different color it's not compulsory though if you know you understand but for to make it not to be cumbersome just do this so i'll continue again i put it on my hook and pull through and put it there so i'll continue this process like I said earlier, I'm repeating myself. If I'm too fast, you can pause the video and um, finish, then play. Okay, so I'm gonna do it nine times. You can do it 10 to 11 times. Depending on how fat or slim you are. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. This one. Then the last one, which is nine. Okay. This is how to be looking now. No, I mean now that I'm talking and resting. Now you get, now you get your S pin. Let me bring it out so you guys can see what I mean. It's so small. Let me put it on my palm. It's S. Okay, now I'm going to put this stuff, this rubber on my hand like this. Yeah. Then I take my S pin and just pull it a little and hook it through. You can see now it's firm and okay. Then I'm gonna pull my rubber out. I will also advise you to use your crochet so your rubbers doesn't break. Okay, so I'm almost done pulling everything out. This is uh, so wonderful and beautiful. Okay, so I'm straightening my rubbers and this is how it looks. of 
the ice cream because it's normally two sides. You use one side to hook this part, then the other side you hook it on this slack part here. There. Okay, it looks so beautiful like this. Now you have and the style is triple single plum band. This is how wonderful it's looking. Okay, so let me put it on. Okay. Wow, isn't it beautiful? So beautiful and lovely. The colors are so beautiful. Yeah. So this is how I make my loom band. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you subscribe and share with your friends. Don't forget to comment down below. Bye!